Today, we're talking about the power of and. But what does it really mean? It's about giving you both flexibility and simplicity, performance and total cost of ownership, speed and security. Public cloud and private cloud each have their advantages. With a hybrid data cloud, you turn your on-prem investments into a sustainable business advantage and add the ability to leverage public cloud on demand. By combining your private and public clouds into a single seamless fabric, Hybrid Data Cloud gives you the ability to migrate your workloads, metadata, and data to the right execution cloud on demand without requiring cloud vendor lock-in. I know it sounds like a simple concept, but we are the only ones who can do this for you today. Because we are focused on open source technologies, we have a huge on-prem footprint, we've stood up instances of Cloudera data platform on all the cloud providers, and we have the means to run your workloads, metadata, and data across cloud boundaries. So why is this so important right now? The importance of data is only going to increase for all enterprises. The total amount of data collected and processed has grown some 5,000% in the last decade and shows no signs of slowing down. What will differentiate enterprises is how quickly they can develop insights on their data and predictions to drive their enterprises in a secure, compliant, cost-effective manner without vendor lock-in. If you fail on any of these dimensions, you're history. But hybrid sets you up for success. Hybrid Data Cloud allows enterprises to own their present and their future. This may be the industry's first hybrid data cloud, but we've been at this for a while. We have the largest breadth of customer use cases in the industry. Over 1,800 of the most data-savvy companies in the world work with us on their most complex business problem. Our experience running some of the biggest workloads on-prem compares favorably to the largest workloads that run on any cloud today. We've combined that knowledge of scale and performance with the agility of running it in any cloud. We are your partner in this new hybrid world. Hybrid cloud and the power of AND. Hi, I'm David Dickman, Director of Product Management here at Cloudera, and I'm here to talk to you about the power of private and public cloud working together. The CDB Hybrid Data Cloud Platform gives you flexibility and simplicity. It gives you performance and excellent total cost of ownership, and it gives you speed and security. Public and private cloud each have their own advantages. We're here to help you turn those on-premise environments into sustainable advantage and leverage the public cloud on demand. So what is it? Combining hybrid public and private cloud together into a seamless fabric, this gives you the ability to migrate your workloads, metadata and data, so that we can execute them in the right environment without vendor lock-in and across all cloud boundaries. But why now? Well, we've always known the importance of data is increasing, but what gives you a differentiation is the ability to leverage that data for predictions and insights in a secure, regulatory compliant, and cost-effective platform. So we're here to be your hybrid partner. Cloudera has the largest breadth of customer cases in the industry, with over 1,800 companies working with some of the most complex and challenging data problems. The Cloud Data Data Platform gives us a hybrid and multi-cloud data platform and integrated suite across secure analytic applications. Wherever the data may be, whether it's real-time, batch, structured or unstructured, for all kinds of data users, data analysts, data engineers, data scientists, data developers, we give you a complete data lifecycle, pre-integrated applications from end to end. And we work in any cloud environment, Azure, Amazon, Google, as well as Red Hat OpenShift. And it's all backed by our secure Cloudera shared data experience, giving you security and governance across the entire experience in a single location. And we're open, open and extensible, open source and open to the broader data ecosystem. And why are we doing that? Well, we're doing that because we know the truth is out there. We know the truth is in the data that's locked in your systems and not being used the most effectively. We know the data that's out there in the cloud, out there in other systems, can be brought together and give you new teachings and new learnings that'll give you a better way to run your business. So here we're talking about CDP hybrid cloud in action. I wanna explore self-service exploratory analytics 
to show us that power of AND. So let's take an example. The first example we have is reducing waste for an organic grocery chain. We're talking about a major American-based supermarket chain that specializes in organic foods. They also have a mandate to be environmentally friendly. Now, their challenge is that with over 44 retail outlets in 10 major cities, they're dealing with over 100 different highly perishable organic food items. Now, if they don't put those items out on the shelf, any one of their five major local competitors are going to take that business away from them. But if they put too much food out, it leads to today's 45 million estimated waste in inventory loss because of spoilage. So what we really want to do here is we want to get smarter about inventory management. Well, to do that, we're going to deal with a two-step process. Step one is explore and discover. In this step, this is where we're going to find the data, build queries, and evaluate. Here we're testing hypotheses. We're going to slice and dice through schema and data, bringing in data sets and samples and looking at what matters and what doesn't. In this case, to helping us improve the way we do inventory management. Once we know the right questions to ask and that those answers are meaningful, we'll do step two, deliver insights at scale. Here, we're talking about getting the whole team together and building a permanent pipeline of data into the warehouse so we can bring in those new data sources that help us lead to new insight. We're also going to prepare that data so we're using just the right amount of that data for the use cases that we're dealing with. And we're going to optimize that schema so that tens to tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of people can be running those dashboards and reports up to the minute to be able to use that insight in real time. We're going to focus on step one today. This is going to be the role of the line of business analyst, who's going to explore and discover. We're looking for meaningful data correlations. The key questions being answered by this role are, do we have all the data we need to answer those questions? From those answers, can we make inventory decisions to reduce waste without missing sales? For today's example, we're going to test two hypotheses. We're going to see if the population density of our cities over time have a direct correlation to sales. And we're going to check weather conditions and see if changing weather has a direct impact on sales. Now, these are just two of potentially hundreds of different hypotheses we would typically go through to test and see which things we can learn that will help us improve our inventory. But what's normally getting us uh, stuck, what's normally in our way, is finding the relevant data. If it's not already in our warehouse, where is it? Where can we get it from? And seeing if we already have it in some source can be a long and arduous task. We also have waiting for resources. We want to run dangerous queries. We want to do things like select star from mega table. We're exploring. We're slicing and dicing through things, combining tables that have never been combined together before. So we don't want to do this in a production environment. We don't even want to do this in standard dev tests. We want our own environment. So we're typically waiting for someone to give us resources to let us do these explorations. And then since we know not all the data we want to test correlations for are going to be in the system, we're going to have them in flat files. We're going to have them from external sources. Oftentimes, we're waiting for someone to help us load that data into the environment so we can test against it. And all of these wait states slow down our ability to figure out what's going to make a difference to our business. So let's look at self-service exploratory analytics with the Cloudera Data Platform so we can show you how we can discover insights faster and easier with the power of AND. So let's start by going into the Cloudera Data Platform's data catalog. Here we see an environment that contains the sales data that we're going to use to compare against other data sets to see if we have a correlation. Now, I don't already have an environment set up, so I'm going to very quickly make a new database catalog on that environment. And then I'm going to create a new virtual warehouse just for me on this database catalog we just created to be able to run my queries. So here I'm going to select a uh, small one. We're just going to run a few small queries. And the other thing I want to pay attention to is the addition of the data visualization. We want to enable data visualization on this virtual warehouse so we can show some sample graphs and charts and other things that are going to help us communicate the data that we're exploring with non-technical users. But now let's take a look at the data we've got. To do that, we're going to go into Hue. 
Hugh is Cloudera's SQL editor, and where folks who are very familiar with slicing and dicing through schema and data are going to do most of their work. When we launch the Hue environment, we'll see already we're connected to the environment where the sales data is currently present. Using drag and drop in Hue, we'll create our first select statement to explore this data. We're just doing a quick sample select, first 100 rows of the sales table, just to see if the data is there and if that data looks like it's the right kind of data. Here we see some sales figures from our, our store locations for various uh, different, different items, so we know we're good. Now, the next thing we want to do is compare this to population data. So we do a little search. We can search by tag. We can search by name. We don't find population data. No problem. Let's import it. I'm going to import from a file on my hard drive. I've got about three years of census data in a CSV file that I'm going to import through Hue. Hue automatically detects the column names because we have a header row. And when we get to the next step, you see that we're able to change things like the table name, which by default is picking up the CSV name. And we can change the table name, and we can also change those column names to something more meaningful, more interesting for us. And we can also look at the data types. Hue's made a good guess about what the data types will be based on the data that it found in the spreadsheet. But maybe those guesses were wrong. No problem, we can go ahead and change them before we make the import work. When we're done, we hit Submit. And this creates the table, it loads the data, and gets us ready to start using this in our warehouse. So let's go back and take a look. Let's go back into our SQL editor. And now we see that city population data has been loaded. Again, we'll use the drag and drop capability of Hue to quickly create that query that we want to do to see, did all the data come in right? And are we able to start doing our exploration? So here again, we'll do a little select star from the table, get 100 rows or so. Take a look at that data and we see that our import was successful. We see that we have our city population data, we have this over time. So now we can build a correlation. We're going to use a standard correlation function. Basically what this function does is it looks at the two data sets and if there's a strong correlation, it'll provide a positive number close to one. If there's a strong negative correlation, it'll supply a number close to negative one. But if the numbers are close to zero, it determines that there's no correlation. So when we run this query, where we're looking at the population density versus sales, we see that the result set gives us some numbers that are really quite small. And this tells us there's virtually no correlation here. This is great because then we don't have to worry about formally bringing in city census data and including that in our dashboard. This is a hypothesis we've proven to be false. Now let's do the same thing with weather. I've jumped ahead a little bit and preloaded the weather data. I also had three months of daily weather data to, to build a correlation against. And this time we use a similar correlation function and we see, wow, these numbers are really close to one in a lot of cases. There is definitely a correlation between the weather on a daily basis and what we can do with our inventory and sales. So this is great. We now know that weather has a big impact on how we handle sales and inventory. We can use that to get smarter about inventory. So now we get to step two. Delivering insights at scale. This is where we bring the whole team together and we continue to have self-service in the Cloudera data platform helping us out. Self-service for the ingest developer with the Cloudera data flow. Self-service with the data engineer with Cloudera data engineering. Self-service for the BI developer with Cloudera data warehouse. And self-service with the line of business with Cloudera data visualization. All working together, we can bring that into a new dashboard and new set of reports that our business leaders can use every day, multiple times a day, to make those important inventory decisions. So let's take a look at the results of this work. So here we've gone into Cloudera data visualization. Let's take a look at the weather dashboard we've just created. This is actually a modified version of the existing sales dashboard where we've added temperature data to the dashboard right at the top. So we see our sales data and we see our weather data together. We also see that you know we already have our existing sales data. We see how each store is doing. We see the breakdown by individual item within each store, how we're doing with avocados and beets, et cetera, et cetera. And this is great. This is the dashboard that we want to look at all the time. But added to it here at the bottom, this is where things get really interesting. Down at the bottom, we've got the dashboard that shows the weather correlation with 
Dark green as a high positive correlation, dark red as a high negative correlation, and various gradients in between. This allows our city managers to look across the board at every single organic food item they're looking at, and whether they need to put more or less of that item out based on the standard on any given day based on the weather. As a few things that we see here, some cities go up when the weather changes, where other cities go down. So the correlation is not always the same city by city. We're dealing with local preferences. And we also see, very interestingly, San Francisco has very few hot spots, which tells us, you know, San Francisco's weather is very consistent. So the inventory management's also probably going to be very consistent, where we see a lot more variance in places in the, in the Northeast, like Boston or New York. So now our decision makers can take immediate action based on this dashboard because of the discovery we made and how quickly we were able to roll that into production. So we saw rapid development at scale, giving us insights quickly and at massive scale. And again, reinforcing that power of and. So what Cloudera Data Platform gave us, out of the box and ready to go, ready to go self-service exploratory analytics. Very quickly, we were able to slice and dice through schema and data and bring in new data sets to come to important conclusions quickly. And once we knew the answers, we got ready to go rapid development, bringing the whole team together and getting a self-service business intelligence at scale. And what that gives us is ready to go business insights with blazing fast turnaround and immediate satisfaction with measurable improvement. And if we look at our use case, what that gave us is the ability to quickly discover that weather was an important piece of data that we could use to manage inventory levels, and then quickly develop that into that weather-driven dashboard that you saw to immediately provide benefit to the business up to the tune of over $40 million a year saved in less wasted inventory. So what we got is the power of AND. We saw the freedom of choice wherever the data may be discovered on-premise or in cloud, running our own environment, whether it was on-premise or in cloud, to slice and dice through data and schema, bringing it from our own sources, and then deploying across the hybrid cloud to make sure that everybody everywhere gets the results they need. And that's the power of AND. Thank you very much.